What's up guys, it's your boy Ominous Nebula and today I'm basically going to be showing you guys the best and strongest Lumians for this new update. Now, there's a bunch of new Lumians that you guys have seen and let me tell you, there's a lot of very strong ones that you're most likely going to see in um, the, what's it called? The Sephirite City new meta gameplay, I guess for PvP. And I'll make videos on how to train them separately in the future but for now, I'm basically going to be showing you which ones you should look out for and basically the strongest ones that you should be using in the future in this new meta. Now, obviously, the first one we got the new roaming. The new roaming actually looks sick. Um, it looks kind of like Mewtwo. That's what everyone's saying. It's pretty much Mewtwo. And yeah, let's check out the stats. Now the stats, um, let's see. Right here, look, these are the base stats for it. It's very nimble on its feet. Um, has a, it's actually pretty all around, all around a good Lumion, especially for a ranged attacker. Good speed, good ranged attack, good energy, good defenses, but very low HP. However, that really gets made up from the defenses. And honestly, it's a pretty good Lumion. I'm not going to lie. It has a really good moveset, or I'm assuming it comes with a really good moveset. I'm hoping it does. Ancient Instinct, a new move. Randomly boost either melee attack or speed by two stages. So that's extremely good. So having that already is broken. Not broken, but it's really good for it, Protagon to have. And yeah, that's Protagon. Protagon is probably the most strongest one out of them all. But obviously, we got to go into the other ones. The next one is Stratosaur. Stratosaur looks like this, you know. Pretty big dragon, Lumion. Um, if you want to know how to get this, just watch my previous videos. I made a video on how to get them. And yeah, this one is has the ability of Clutch. Obviously, that's not the best ability for it, but... It's very strong, and if you look at its stats, you can see why. It has really good range attack, really good range defense. However, um, its melee attack is very lacking, which doesn't really matter since it's a range attacker. It has pretty decent speed, pretty decent M defense, pretty decent energy, and pretty good health. So, overall, this Lumion is a very good Lumion. However, it is very, very weak to fire and electric types. So please do not be sending this out against like a Zulong or something because you'll get bodied. Like literally, you'll actually get bodied since Zulong is faster than you. But yeah, that's Stratazor. Pretty good Lumion, not gonna lie. I like it. Personally, one of my favorite designs in this update. Um, now we have Dyborg. Now Dyborg is the paint dude. Um, looks like this. You know, pretty big Lumion, not gonna lie. It's a tank, literally. <laughs> but anyways, if we look at the stats, look, its ability is literally tank, bruh. Halves the damage of the first hit. Yeah, that's really nice. And its base stats are actually just all around mediocre, you know? Nothing stands out really to me that much besides its melee attack. But everything else is pretty mediocre. So all around, this Lumion is just a, you know, a good role player Lumion or like a good Lumion for like tanking stuff or like, I don't even know, but it's just a solid Lumion in general. Probably one of those Lumions you're going to need. A key component Lumion. Kind of like how you win championships or something, but you know, its typing is, um, what's it called? Toxic Metal, so that's also a pretty new typing that we've seen, and it honestly isn't that bad. So that's another one of the most powerful Lumians. Now the next one we have is Gardrone. Gardrone, this one's insane, I'm not gonna lie. Gardrone's actually insane. Now, Gardrone right here. Alright, so Gardrone... Its stats are actually insane, <laughs> so it's pretty has pretty low speed. However, if you do TP train it right, it can be very, very detrimental. And if you run Bane of Haste sets, this is also going to be really good. So we have Guard Drone with a um, range defense of 119, range attack of 132, 68 M defense, 54 attack, 82 energy, 69 HP, which isn't bad at all. Its ranged attack is insane, which is why if you use Bane of Haste and like get that Bane of Haste set going, this will be perfect for a Bane of Haste set team, especially in 2v2s. And you have communication. Guard Drone's gonna be a really good PvP Lumen. You should definitely check it out or pick one up and make your own set. I'll also be making my own set and making a video on it as well for all these new Lumians. So make sure to stay tuned and let's go to the next one. The next one is Tyrex. Tyrex is actually insane as well. Look how big it is. <laughs> and has the small arms. But, you know, overall, it has a pretty good design. 
looks really nice in PvP or like in battle and stuff. But let's check out the stats. So terrifying, that's already a really good ability for terrifying. That's really good. However, you can't really switch into anything at the moment. It's really good at Seer Knight counter though. If we look at the stats, it is faster than Seer Knight. Has insane amount of M attack, insane amount of M defense. And everything else is actually really good. So this Lumion's actually like amazing. So if you actually pick up one of these, you got yourself a really good Lumion because it has really good M attack, really good M defense. Its speed is actually really good. Um, energy, kind of low. Actually, not really low. It depends on what moves it'll be using. HP is pretty good. Our defense is really good as well. So overall, Tyrex is really, really good. Uh, probably the strong, one of the strongest in this update. I'd say at like top three at least. And yeah, the next one we have is Munchwheel. Now Munchwheel, it looks like this. You know, Chomp Pactus Evolution. Pretty cool design overall. And if we look at it, it has the stats of 113 M defense, 94 M attack. Um, 78 MR defense and 79 energy, 89 HP, 66 speed. So, yeah, this Lumion is also really well as well. Um, uh, has a ability of salvage if not holding the item, the Luminary Cycle. All right, that's not a good ability at all, but Rev Up is also a good ability that Munchwheel picks up unless it loses it when it levels up, um, from Chomp Actor. But you know, overall, Munchwheel is actually a really, really strong Lumion. You guys should definitely check it out and probably pick it up in one of your PvP teams and experiment with it because, you know, Munchwheel is actually, like, really good. Now, the next one we have is Hunter. Now, Hunter is, um, this Lumion right here. It has 116 speed. Uh, everything else is fairly low. It's definitely an M attacker, though. It's definitely, like, not meant for ranged attack. It's a melee attacker. So, that's actually very interesting to see. Our first melee attacking, um, electric type. In the game so far so that's actually really nice um 84 energy 78 hp 83 m defense 43 r attack and 69 defense okay so hunter it probably won't be that good in this update mainly because everything is very very like m defense bulky like they're all bulky pretty much in m defense and yeah i mean it'll be good against like wimpor but other than that, it, I mean, I don't really see it being used too much. I mean, AV Tross as well, it's good against that. It is way faster than AV Tross. Its speed is what's carrying it. It has insane speed right now. It pretty much outspeeds anything in the game besides Zulong, I think. I'm not too sure. But if it does outspeed Zulong, this Lumion actually might be very usable. Very usable because it gets rid of AV Tross. It gets rid of a bunch of things, actually. So... Yeah, Hunter is actually a pretty good Lumion. It's probably one of the most powerful ones as well. I actually do think, like, all these Lumions are powerful in my opinion. Literally, every single Lumion here is actually good. <laughs> That's the thing with this update. Now, we have one more I want to show you guys. It's in the PC box, so we're going to go pick it up. But that's the thing, bro. With all these Lumions, they all look so good. And they all have amazing, like, stats and stuff, dude. Like, these Lumions are actually good, guys. These Lumions are OP. But obviously, the last one we have is um, the Roach. And honestly, I'm not a fan of its first design at all. But its final design does impress me. I really like its final evolution a lot. Um, one of the good ones. But if we look at the stats, it has 104 speed, 90 M defense, um, and everything else is fairly low. So mediocre stats in general. But it is a bug type, bug earth, which is one of the most uncommon types that we've seen so far. Um, we've seen a lot of like just bugs, bug plants, but we haven't seen any earth bug. So obviously this was like expected to come very soon because you know, obviously bugs sometimes go underground and it is an ant. So it does make sense for this typing to be bug earth. Um, but yeah, definitely probably one of the most strongest ones as well. Really, really good, um, speed. And I do think it'll be able to counter Duskets if it is faster. Most likely, probably not. But if it learns to move like Earthquake, I could definitely see this Lumion being like one of the good Lumions in this update, especially with all the metal typings. Um, Garbantis is definitely going to be a really good Lumion. I'm not going to lie. It, it will be a good Lumion because it gets rid of Shachis. It gets rid of uh, pretty much any fire type in the game right now. 
And yeah, Garbantis, I'm actually going to be probably using this in my PvP team. Mainly because of how just diverse its moveset, or not moveset, I don't know its moveset yet. Hope, I'm hoping it's good. How diverse its typing is, and um, pretty much just good stats in general. However, it does lack on the hitting side, so that is going to be tough. However, I'll make it work. <laughs> But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, it's your boy Ominous and we out. Peace!